Hi, welcome to my playhouse and today I really want to work on this project because it has been sitting here making a lot of noise on the table for the last three days ish. I am continuing a video where I'm trying to get all of these 48 drives to work on a server. Right now it's connected to this Lenovo X3650 Model 1 which is an, quite an old server, it's actually 10-11 years old right now but it's a good old awesome server it's one of my favorite servers in the favorite series so let's see what I've been up to here is the server it has one internal hard drive, we'll get back to that one and then there is these, there's two storage boxes here and they came from this NetApp SAN and these are called the DS4243 and they're just disk shells each of them has 24 disks uh, this one has 600 gigabytes disks and this one has 2 terabytes disks and they are connected to the server um, I have some cushions over this because as I said it has been running for 3 days and my little workstation is right there and that was a hell lot of noise to have there all the time so what I did, I put those, these cushions on it to uh, dampen that a little bit and I scrolled the server over this way before they were blowing straight this way and they were making more noise so I pointed them over in this corner for the sound to be uh, reflected a little bit so the X3650 has this external SAS connector it has a built-in rate controller that rate controller has an internal connection and it has an external connection this is very rare I've only seen this server with this kind of a connection but well other mics be out there this connection goes down and into the first disk shell here and from this box there goes another cable and down to the next disk shell these disk shells has two controllers each but I have dismounted those controllers um, this is for redundancy and I do not need that much redundancy top one has four power supplies I have them all running right now but if and when I put this into production I would probably it would be enough with two power supplies there is losses in having many 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 power supplies and it runs really okay on the bottom one here which has only two power supplies and some filler stuff that's the back of it IBM server rate configuration utility when the server boots you can press Control A and it opens up this for you and you can configure the rate controller before the server is booted so we can uh, kind of go in here and see the drives let's go in here manage array and from an old video where I made an array of all the two terabytes it sees that array this is the array I call it bad it's because it's a, a RAID 0 and it's a really bad idea to put 24 drives in a RAID 0 but it uh, added up to about 43.6 terabytes of data it is really 48 terabytes but there are some losses in the calculation manufacturers of hard drives they, they will sell you a 2 terabyte hard drive but instead of each kilobyte being 1024 bytes each kilobyte will be 1000 bytes and when you add it up and go into the megabytes and gigabytes and terabytes well those 24 bytes becomes quite a bit but we have that array we will erase that shortly but we can kind of see all the disks here if we initialize drives there you can see down here this is page number one of three so the first page consists of 16 there are 16 drives here and they are all 600 gigabytes so next page I will take a little bit too here we have eight more drives of 600 gigabytes and if you see here these were the NetApp drives I, in a previous video I had to reformat these drives because they were made for the NetApp so they had a sector size of 520 
and for the rig controller and the normal windows and the servers and computers to recognize this that had to be 512 so I had to go in and do some ninja stuff in, uh, in Linux and that was definitely an area where I'm not a ninja it ended out that I had two bad drives and actually one of the bad drives is sitting in here because I was messing with that seeing if I could get something out of that it is not showing up anywhere so I don't know what to do with that one and I had another one that just wouldn't format I was able to make the ninja trick on it but but when I low level formatted it it would make an error and that low level format that took two hours so it was formatting for two hours and then it came out with an error I did that twice that's four hours wasted and then I just popped in a couple of other drives that I just happened to have laying around uh, funny enough exactly the same model you can't see that because NetApps has uh, put their own stuff in but they were all Seagate ST360057 SSU drives not the best day for Seagate I must say that one of the dead drives was in Hitachi which was kind of funny because there was only one Hitachi drive in all of this and that was faulty that's the one that isn't showing up this is page two and here we uh, start getting the Hitachi drives down here uh, the two all the two terabytes which you can see here when we're talking a two terabytes it's actually only yeah 1862.9 gigabytes and then lastly the last page and these are all Hitachi two terabyte drives and we're at the end you can press one small but but it just goes back to page one so I have 48 drives on this server right now I could have 49 but well it's not showing up I could occupy these as well that would make it 54 drives but well I think this is quite enough let's see what we can do with that as you saw the two terabytes they were all in that uh, bad volume that I made so we're gonna go down and we're gonna erase all of these I'm gonna initialize them disk for initialization so I'm gonna mark all of those and I go to the next page and we're not gonna mark all of those too so there should be 24 of those we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna ask if we're sure about that uh, yes are you really 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 sure yes and it's initializing those 24 drives so that's uh, 48 terabytes of of hard disk storage that is being erased right there there we are I watched most of a YouTube video while it was doing that so now we should just have a lot of free space we shouldn't have any race nope no array and, again, and we can create an array and it has a lot of drives for that three pages of drives so what can we do with all these drives go to page one and just let's just mark everything let's see what we can do all of the first page all of the second page all of the third page there we can do a rate zero and we can do a rate 10 and that's not a lot right so um, and it, it well rate zero is only 26 terabytes so it's doing something weird there that's not all of our space I don't think it's able to combine all of these into one drive and I found that if we go out again and we go in and create an array I found if I only select up to 16 devices like here I can do all these rates I can do volume rate 0 rate 5 rate 1 e that's more or less just a rate 1 rate 6 and a rate 10 stripe of mirrors so this rate controller inside the awesome x3650 model 1 well it has some limitations it can only handle 16 drives and still use all the rate options for fun and giggles i think we should just make some rate zeros and i want to make four of them because that makes uh, 12 discs in each so let's go back and go out again and then we will create an array and we'll just 
select the first 12 drives which is down to number 11 here and enter and we will make a stripe drive and we'll call this bad one it's a bad idea done creating a ring this won't take long there it actually took longer than anticipated so let's manage the ring we have our bad one and it's 6.5 terabytes cool so let's create another one there and we will select the next 12 drives so insert 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 next page another 12 drives 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes enter we will make another stripe we'll call this bad 2 done now we'll take a bit too cool we have that created we'll go make the next one there and we have no available on page number one so we'll go to page number two here we are and we're gonna select the first 12 Hitachi 2 terabyte drives that's the first eight so next page and we'll select the first four on this page that should uh, make 12 drives remaining for the last one so hit it and we're gonna make another RAID 0 and this is gonna be bad 3 21.83 terabytes of data awesome okay that has completed and I cheated and made number 4 right away so right now we have 6.5 6.5 21.8 21.8 21 terabytes of storage on each of those Combined it should be 62.5 terabytes of storage on this server right now uh, Minus what the producers don't really give you. It's kind of awesome. This server right now has 62.5 terabytes of storage. I'm booting now and this Controller does show here that it's gonna present the operating system with these four arrays uh, same sizes as we saw inside so I booted the server on this USB stick it's a live CD and it's a Linux operating system Zen OS 6.5 and if we go to the computer here and we go to the file system and we can actually go into devices and disks and by ID we can see that there is something called bed 1, bed 2, bed 3 and bed 4. I recognize those. It does not see the drive that is currently in it, the 600 gigabyte that is defective, but it sees the new ones that I created. So I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna be able to get to that 600 gigs. I'm not by any means any ninja at this Linux stuff so I found that up here on the system there is a disk utility and in here it would be possible to go down here and select the different disks like and make a format a volume format drive and stuff so we have 7.2 terabytes there on disk 1 7.2 terabytes on disk 2 24 terabytes it's very funny that it actually shows it in those kind of numbers instead of showing the actual terabytes and there is that in that one too so we get the full 62.5 terabytes awesome okay I'm not gonna be using the storage on this Lenovo x3650 model 1 I am actually gonna try and make this Lenovo x 35 model 4 to a storage server it's just sitting there right now but I'm gonna move it into the data center first because I'm so tired of listening to this stuff it's so noisy just listen to it 
three full days I have had to listen to that and every second hour I had to go in and format the next drive so I'm very happy that I'm done with this but I'm also very happy to just show this good old server with 62.5 terabytes of storage and there is room for even more I did a video where I showed that if you exchange the internal rate controller which you wouldn't have to do in this case you would just have to put in an extra rate controller and direct the front drives to that new rate controller you could actually put in six 10 terabyte disks so that would be another 60 terabytes so that would be 122 and a half terabytes of data on this server but um, well I don't have any of those that will have to be another day thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye